Hey guys, Psycho Revolution, and a couple days ago, two members of the Daisy dev team, Vipex and Ander, they were interviewed on a podcast and they discussed Daisy and some upcoming features and some things that won't be in the game. And it's about a 40 minute podcast and interview, and I went through and I picked out the important parts, and I'm going to tell you about them so that you don't have to listen to the whole thing if you ain't got the time or the interest. Okay, the first one is local servers. Now, this is something I already thought that would not be ever added to this mod, and they sort of confirmed that. They said it wasn't planned. And it's not planned because as soon as you take out the element of players that you don't know possibly killing you, it sort of defeats the whole purpose of the game. If you just played on a server with only your friends and zombies, then it's just you against zombies, and it's no longer day Z. There was also a question about the issue of gender switching. Now, you remember the last update, we had the choice to switch genders, pick our gender, and some of us picked female, and then when we died, we respawned and we were male again. So, it sort of got rid of our choice, and that kind of sucked. So, they admitted that this is happening, it's a bug, and they haven't confirmed it, but it's pretty much guaranteed going to happen that at some point we're going to be able to switch our gender have that choice again so that we can actually pick our gender and keep it for good. They also talked a bit about dogs. Now, if you read a PC Gamer article about a month ago, they interviewed Rocket and he discussed his plans to add dogs and they confirmed, yes, they are still adding dogs. They're just being worked on. They also confirmed in this interview that they're definitely going to have more vehicles in the game. And along with the vehicles, they're going to have new weapons and new items. Now with these items, they're not trying to make just a whole bunch of items to fill up your inventory. They're trying to work on making items that already exist in the world work together to do new functions. So something like combining raw meat into a tin can and then you throw it like bait or something. Something like that. It gives use to items that already have use or don't have use. And it just helps the game without crowding your inventory with more items you have to find, carry, and loot. And then also with these new items, they're trying to make it more cooperative, friendly, so it's not as much of a deathmatch, and you need people to do certain things. Just like the blood pack, you need somebody to help you get some blood. You're going to need other people to do other tasks in these future updates. And the last one, and the biggest in my opinion, is they discussed Arma 3, and without confirming it, they pretty much said that Daisy will be a mod for Arma 3 when it comes out. Now, I've been thinking about this whole situation by myself, and I have come up with an argument I see as sound. And this argument goes as follows. Bohemia Interactive is the developer behind the Arma series. Bohemia Interactive is a company. Companies try and make money. Bohemia Interactive tries to make money. So, here's the conclusion. Daisy will be a mod for Arma 3, possibly when it first releases... And a little bit into the life cycle of Arma 3, they will fund a Day Z game, a standalone game by itself, and we can buy that too. So, so first we're buying Arma 3 to play the Day Z mod on it, and then later on we're going to buy the Day Z game created by them. Of course, this is my own opinion and argument, so do you agree with it or disagree? In the comments, let me know, do you think that they will do this, or do you think they'll just leave it as a mod, and that's it? Let me know what you think, and until next time, would you just stay? Friggin' sexy.